Good morning. All right, back out here. And today, all goes as planned. We're actually supposed to have a good amount of help. We'll see what we can knock out. The last couple videos, you saw I put, got the office all uh, stacked up and done. Had uh, some help from one of my daughters on the last day, which was great. Knocked that out. So that is... See? So that's ready for concrete. Which uh, we will actually pour ahead of this. We got to fill the blocks of the retaining walls when they're done with concrete. And we've got to uh, get this ready for a roof because I want this done ahead of time. Got a couple other little little things we need concrete for. So I still need to phone the common seams, you know, little stuff and build the pre butt for the window. The window is supposed to be a little bigger than that. It's supposed to get cut up to about underneath that strap. Rough opening size, and then we gotta put the pre-buck in, which will bring it down three inches. So get that done. Yeah, we, huh. What we got over here? Good morning, Jeff. Morning, John. How are you? I'm good. You beat me to the job site, which is pretty hard to do, but. Only by five minutes. Oh, perfect. Ah, uh, what do you think? It's changed a little bit since you were here. What wonderful progress you have made. It's, uh, it's getting there. Yeah. I was going to go down and get that folding table right there. Oh, give bring, us a table to work off of. Bring it up into your office. Oh, is that not? <laughs> Good to see you. How are you, sir? Good. So John's going to help me finish getting the corner set that I couldn't get to because you need somebody on a ladder to uh, hold things or actually need someone on the ladder to screw them in when you get everything to the right height that you want. So now that he's here, we'll do that. We'll finish up all the little corners and then we'll just start playing uh, connect the dots. Not enough hands. Not enough hands. <laughs> I guess instead of filming, maybe I ought to help him out. So. Well, I'm used to say it's a lazy man's load. Hey, look who's on the ladder. Boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Getting it done. The beep beep. Yeah, this one doesn't have to come up too much. These were those last few I couldn't get to. Okay. Oh, that's a crappy screw. <laughs> Is this thing already off? No. Am I blocked? Hold on. What you doing? Oh, I put another screw in the bottom. Oh. To stabilize it. <laughs> I'm like, what happened? <laughs> All right, down. That's good. Okay, hold on. I'm probably, I'm in the way is what it is. Hold on. Hold on. Come on, come on, baby. Up. Uh, all right. All right. And that's how you do it. Go around, set the corners. Like I said, this isn't a normal thing. This is a newbie first time thing. And it's also because we want to do the concrete floor. So we needed something for the floor to sit on there. You see the little pad. If we weren't doing these floors, we could have poured, like left it a couple inches down in the forms, stacked back over the nubs.
All right, closing in on the end of the day. Two rows stacked through here, or two courses. So this is the hardest part, obviously, is always getting your first course started. Our plan will be to get a second course on, rebar and everything's in, and stack that one coming around. Then that's the curve. That's the two big, the two doors up here. They're not big doors up here. It's a set of uh, French doors. So it's two pairs. It's actually four French doors. So French door, French door, French doors, French doors. But we just do the ICF, a big opening down below because they'll fit in that spot. It's starting to get late. I mean, it's four o'clock, but it's getting dark even though it's not supposed to rain, but here we are. So we'll get that second course on and then we'll go around more with the beep beep again and we'll just make sure everything's dead level how we want it then i'll secure it down and that'll be so tomorrow's thursday gives us tomorrow and friday to have the second course in and then lay out all the windows so that we can uh have our nowhere we're going to stop our forms there's probably a bracket that's supposed to keep me from falling to the floor oh look at that it's like a glove i have thanks have to cut this cut the teeth off think so or not might not you said or might not oh that's nice for a change huh? or did you already cut everyone you already cut them off there, there. good hey had to at least leave one you push that one out of the way right that that picket flip them around we're having to put all right what was the basement was it 10 inch? eight so this is eight is this a six? that's six so i get to use a third uh quarter less concrete that'd be nice and we got all the windows Afternoon, John. How are you, sir? I can't complain. It's going wonderful today. Right? This is the front door if you can uh, step up here and welcome in. Well. We also got the side door over here. I didn't plan my dirt right. I'm sure we'll fill that in. We're uh, we're closing in on uh, three courses are complete so far. Uh, Josh is over there making some custom cuts. It's looking good. So we've been working all day. I just didn't film. Wanted to get something a little different done and get it stacked up for a pause for that. And then we just got into a roll. So, so everywhere you see the green, that's where the windows are. I didn't put it on some place. Well, no, he just hasn't put a block there yet. There's no window there. Oh, yeah. So that's where windows go. And there's a double French door there. And then two sets of French doors there. So we're three courses high. We're going seven plus, so seven full courses, and then top will be same elevation as the top of the lower steel beam. And then that's why all these beams aren't in place because they go in and tie the pockets in the wall, just like we did in the basement. Used to be the garage. That's now what was part of what was gonna be on the second floor since we moved it all down, it just made sense to us. So those uh, four windows and three windows back here, no windows out that end. The new garage will sit over there and be connected to uh, my office. And we haven't started on the curb walls because we hate them, but we'll make uh, we'll make progress with those eventually. We just gotta get uh, get some of this going. So let's uh, get over here and watch John do a little something and talk about what he's doing. Oh look, that's the first one. Every time I watch everyone else's videos. They have Nadura on the side of their block, and I. this is the first one of the entire build. Uh, these were the brand new stack. The brand new ones, that's why. Oh, he gave me his old stock, and now we're into the new stock. I didn't say that. <laughs> but when everybody else has the Nadura, did you notice they always mount their block upside down, so Nadura is written upside down on the outside of the house? It looks like you don't have a choice. All right, so what are you doing here, John? Let's explain so, to the folks uh, at home a little bit. We have some corners here. Yep. Factory corners. Uh, leading up to the front door and uh, the house also has a corner right here. So we have a piece to fill in So I'm cutting a filler block. That is a factory seam one two three four Webs and one two and a half almost well almost to two. Yeah, so as a as a Billy poo picked up on in about five minutes. Yes One two three four so one four and one and a half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Now, if some if this had ended up where the wall stopped here and the corner started, then we could have yes. just yes put it up. So yes. that's one thing to keep in mind when you're planning your job out. And don't get too carried away with this because this isn't a huge deal, but just one of those things, you know, sometimes a couple inches either way makes a difference. It does. At least that's what I've heard. It does. 
not only make a, a, a difference, but it would be faster also because now then you don't have to make custom cuts. Right. Yeah. So that's what uh, John's doing. We're just stacking on this third row. I went around, spent a lot of the morning measuring and marking where the windows were going. So now the windows are pretty tall. So we will have four courses of just window opening. So we'll get up to six and then the top will be seven. And then like I said, a little bit. So we're about two feet from the ceiling with the top of the of the window frame so that's going to work out really well and remember we'll be up a little over four inches from where i'm standing now when the floor is poured how's it going josh yeah are you excited I guess so. hey look at that he cut one out on the left side there you go all right so uh, then i made a couple notes i don't know if it'll come through on the video but in here and in the closet there there are little windows that are way up high, so the common seam falls in where a window is. So now, for the next, counting this course, for the next four courses, I don't even have to worry about the common seam because it'll just be, we'll just cut where the side of the window is and there's none of the strapping or anything because this is in the window. So this is, that's a functioning window. This is a picture window, unless Mrs. Beely Good changes her mind. But this is the uh, window view deal to look out there. And I failed because I skipped this area and there's two windows to do there. So I'm going to stop and do those two. So what we've done is we marked out for a window there, the other window here. So now we've got our count. Josh has gotten a uh, piece that's close. Then he'll just, we'll get the other side and without falling through the deep chasm, OSHA approved. There you go. There's our uh, doorway to the porch. So putting in rebar, go by your engineer specs which mine are four equivalent, which is MST's three size bar, but it's, they got testing and provide all the various classifications and everything, specifications to a four bar. And really I only had to do one horizontally every other block, but I'm putting them in every one. And since we're above ground, we're alternating between the inside, these two center tabs, we're overlapping our corner bar. You can put it right on top of the bar and wire and tie it we like to do this. It lets you have that roughly inch and a half space to consolidate around the bar. Be tight there. And the last one was on this side. So then what ends up happening is we'll have that little gap through the middle and we can slide the uh, vertical bar in, which will be a number five. That will be going straight up every, uh, about every four feet, I think, it, without looking at it. See the 32 inches or 48. But obviously, we'll look at the plans before we do that. That's one of the last things you do. So this is where the pre buck's gonna go for the window buck. A little cutoff wheel here. It's been time for a new blade, but I gave the good one to uh, John over there. And then we just take this piece and move it down here. All right, and then we've got this piece to save in case we need it. That's our pre-bent corners that we're using. There's another way you can do your corners too, which I've used that is engineer approved. I have more time. So I went ahead and just ordered the pre-bent ones this time, but so there you go. So that's, uh, that's ready. Just, we can stack on top of that. Good morning. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, there you are. You ready to go for a ride? All right. You can inspect our work. Yeah. Yeah. Camera's on. You got to take it seriously now. Good morning. We have been rolling along. It's been great. Uh, we cut out a little early yesterday. It was my birthday. I did a short. I'm sure not everybody saw it, but I do appreciate the birthday wishes of those that got to see it. Oh, the chickens are out. Good morning, chickens. Get something done. Where are the ducks? Oh, I see them. They're over there on the hill. All right. Well. Anyway, so I've been uh, rolling along, getting things done. Uh, today, we're going to stack the rest of course four and go to five. We usually would not go to that without bracing already up, but I've got the guys coming in the morning to help put up the bracing, and we don't want to lose a day. Uh, so, we, of course, we could put up some of our own and do it, but it's a, uh, it's a, it's a few-person job if you want to roll through it, so... They'll, uh, they'll be here tomorrow. We'll get 
everything uh, bracing up and the, uh, the walk boards and all that stuff and do the little final touches on those courses and then we'll just have two courses to stack and we're we'll be done with stacking so looking cool it's cool to see you know the windows are going to be and all that well i say done with stacking of course that doesn't account for the uh the uh, curved areas the radius areas so but it's okay i make a big deal out of the curved areas because it it is a lot of work, but uh, really it's a lot of repetitive work. So one of those things where it's one of those things where if we just which we have to do is eight cuts or no, it's twelve cuts per board, per uh, piece. Breakfast area curve took uh, four, almost a full four. So that's forty-eight cuts per row, and then it's seven. So it's three hundred fifty cuts, not counting the relief cuts to uh, to build just that one. So. Multiply that times three, so you're around thousand cuts. It just gets, it just gets repetitive, and you know, whatever. But one of those things will knock out. Uh, Casey's still on another project. He's actually coming by to get his story pulled today because he needs it on the other project. So I'm gonna talk to him and see when he'll be back because I'd like him to get uh, to knock these out over here. So that when we have the pump truck, that we can do that. It'd just be easier. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be what's going to be. Right, dog dog? Well, what do you think? Here we are. Yeah? Hmm. The hell stopped wagging. Wait, that's wagging again. So we're good? We passed? We passed, dog dog? Well, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. She seems happy. We got someone working on merch because we had a lot of people ask us about it. So we'll have updates on that soonish, hopefully. One of them is going to be a dog dog shirt. That's exciting. We need to dig a little channel here so that that'll kind of clear out. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Well, that's what happens when you wait. We're going to get cleaned up today, too. Go around the whole job site and get all this trash up, right? So far, I think we're good. Inspector Dog Dog does not seem to be uh, upset with anything we've done. You smell that cat, don't you? I pick up a cat on the camera. Where are you going? Our ride's down here. Come on. we got the geothermal feeds to get in. We got to go ahead and do them now because we don't want to dig it all back up the backfill that's doing because it comes in that side because that bottom corner in the basement is the mechanical room. So we get to see Chris doing some more digging because we're burying the feed lines to the lake uh, six feet in the ground. You'll see me get wet because I'm going to have to get out in the lake because uh, we want to make sure because I mean they won't exit at the uh, top level. They'll be down. So we'll be... Uh, out there guiding that in make sure we get those where we want them it's going to be about halfway from the shore to the about in between here to the island uh is where it's going to sit and i've got to look back at the old videos which is another good reason for a video in your project because i know we've got some uh fish trenches in there so I, obviously i don't want to be walking into those uh we want to be about at least six feet so once we get out there, we're uh, we're good. Come on, dog, dog, let's go. I know I'm slow. All right. <clears throat> Hope you're enjoying the video, and uh, yeah, we'll get a see where we end up at by the end. I mean. I know. It was cheesy. Thank you. All right. So dog dog approved everything. So we got lucky. So got Josh here helping. Yay. You're excited about that, right, Josh? Yeah. Yep. See? Told you. Uh, we're going to check and see where James is in a little bit. He's supposed to come in and 
Come help with some stuff. Huh? Me, John. Oh, John, too, but James is coming. I got him. Hold on. Got a dog dog light side of the wind blowing her face. All right, let's do it. Who will be by my side? 